Recently, my credit card got hacked, but it's okay because this seems to happen to me like once a year now. But I had already memorized my credit card number, so I was a little bit bummed out that I would have to memorize a new one. But there was just one problem, because before my credit card arrived in the mail, I still wanted to use it because that was my favorite credit card, but I wasn't able to until Apple Pay came in to save the day. Because you see, Apple Pay had automatically updated the same credit card on my Apple wallet to the new number so I could still use it even though I hadn't gotten my physical card in the mail yet. And that got me thinking, how does Apple Pay actually work? Hello, my name is D.I. Lee and you are my VIP. I'm a software engineer by day and YouTuber my part time. And on this channel, we talk about tech news and reviews. And in this video, we're going to talk about why you should be using Apple Pay, how to set it up on your phone, what's happening behind the scenes, and one cool tip I think everyone should be using. Okay, let's get right into it. Why should you be using Apple Pay? Well, it seems like contactless payments have gotten even more popular since the pandemic. It's almost like you can't go to a coffee shop or a restaurant or the grocery store and not have the vendor accept Apple Pay or some kind of contactless payment. And because I can store multiple cards in my Apple Pay, I don't even have to carry a physical card on me that much anymore. And that's super awesome and convenient. So how do you set up Apple Pay? It's super simple. All you have to do is open up the Apple wallet, press the plus button up at the top, press the credit card, and then I find that it's easier just to take a picture of it. The information ID recognition on that is super good, it's really fast, better than punching the numbers in yourself. And then follow the instructions and you should be able to have it set up in no time. What's happening behind the scenes when you're using Apple Pay? Well, in order to understand that, first, let's take a quick look at how a traditional credit card works. When you have a credit card and you swipe it, let's say we have a Visa card, then using the Visa network, they will ask the bank whether this card number with these information is allowed to make a certain purchase. For example, to make sure that the amount that you're trying to spend is not over the credit limit that you have. Once that's approved, then the transaction will go through and you'll be allowed to make that purchase. But the bad thing about the credit card is that every time you swipe, it sends over your credit card information. And so if anyone gets a hold of that information, then they could use your credit card at their leisure. And this is where Apple Pay comes in and it's quite clever how it works. And if you're finding this video helpful, I'd really appreciate if you gave it a like. See, what Apple Pay does is Apple is an intermediary between you and the bank. So instead of sending your credit card information over, when you scan your Apple Pay, they will send an encrypted token over to the bank instead. The bank can also decrypt it and make sure that the information is correct. And once they verify that it is correct, then they can send that information back to you and make sure that you can swipe your transaction. So whereas with traditional credit cards, they need to send over your credit card information with every transaction. With Apple Pay, they're sending a different encrypted token so that your credit card information is not attached to that transaction. And in that way, it's a lot more secure than traditional credit cards. Now that we've gone over the advantages of Apple Pay, I wanna share one really cool tip. If you go into the settings and you go into wallet, there's a spot for Express Transit Card. If you put in your favorite card there, whenever you swipe contact list payment for transit, you don't even have to open up your phone or anything. You can just place your phone on the reader and it will go through automatically. No need to authenticate, no face ID needed, no nothing. This is so cool and such a huge time saver. I never use my Metro card anymore and I just put my phone on it. I don't have to do anything other than that and it's great. I've been telling a lot of my friends and it always catches them by surprise so I really want to share that information here. Okay, let me know down in the comments whether you have Apple Pay set up or if you've tried using the Express Transit card and let me know how it's changed your life. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.